Hello guys, this is Sayyid Muhammad Wakar and back with another video. In this video, I will tell you guys about the fresh air CFM calculation. So there I have uh, opened the drawing for the school project. I will show you our different areas for fresh air CFM calculation. So let's start. So first uh, I will calculate the fresh air CFM for this uh, chemistry and bio lab. So, in order to calculate the fresh air CFM, I have made this excel sheet as you can see over here. What we need over here is the room area, CFM per square feet, number of persons and CFM per person. And uh, total fresh air will be the sum of CFM1 plus CFM2. So, let's start for chemistry and bio lab. As you can see, the area of this uh, chemistry and bio lab from here this much is the width 10.9 meter is the width of this lab and 13.2 uh, meter is the length of this uh, lab so area will be 8.4 times 13.2 that is uh, 110.88 square meters also this area is also included so this is 300 that is uh, 3 meter by 1.6 meter is this area plus uh, 1.5 meter into 1.4 meter is this area so that total area uh, will also be added in the chemistry and lab because this is a part of this uh, chemistry and bio lab area so let us add this area that is 3 meter by 1.6 meter that is 4.8 square meters plus uh, 1.5 into 1.4 meters 4.8 1.5 into 1.4 plus 4.8 that is 6.9 square meters 6.9 square meters plus we have already calculated that area 8.4 into 13.2 uh, 8.4 into 13.2 110.88 plus 6.9 so the total area is uh, 117.78 square meters but we have to put that area over here in the square feet so in order to convert that square meters into square feet we will multiply it by 10.76 so 1267 square feet is the area of this lab 1268 okay now go for computer lab and classroom so I will show you one more over here that is computer lab as you can see the length of the room is 1.2 meter uh, 12 meters sorry and uh, width is about 8 meter so total area will be 8 meter by 12 meter that is 96 square meters but we need to convert this into square feet so multiply it by 10.76 so we'll get 1033 square feet 1033 square feet now I will calculate uh, one of the classroom also as you can see this is the classroom and its length is 12 meters and width is 8 meters so it's same as computer lab so area will be same as computer lab so let's move to the next column that is CFM per square feet for this I have opened this uh, HAP software if you will go to the spaces and then go to new default space from here we can select the ventilation requirement as per actual standard 62.1 so what we have over here is uh, science uh, lab that is chemistry bio lab so if we'll scroll down over here 
uh, as you can see education science lab there is chemistry bio lab so we can select this over here and you can see the CFM per person over here is 10 as per x-ray standard and CFM per square feet required for science chemistry lab is 0.18 so 10 CFM per person and 0.18 CFM per square feet so 10 CFM per person and uh, how much 0.18 yeah 0.18 CFM per square feet 0.18 CFM per square feet as I have already applied this formula this room area into CFM per square feet will get first CFM you can see over here this and this will get the CFM one that is 228 now if, uh, how to get the number of persons usually from the architecture you can get the number of persons how many persons will occupy this uh, chemistry and bio lab and uh, computer lab and classroom so let's assume the number of persons in uh, chemistry bio lab will be 15 so this CFM2 will be calculated as follow this number of persons into CFM you will get this CFM2 so total CFM how you get this total CFM total CFM will be the sum of this first CFM room area into CFM per square feet plus number of persons into CFM per person so total CFM will be CFM1 that is 228 plus CFM2 150 so total is 378 CFM for chemistry and bio lab in the same way you can calculate the computer lab and classroom so I will show you again let's go for computer lab In the education so there it is education computer lab you can select from here so CFM per person is 10 and uh, outdoor air requirement is uh, CFM per square feet is 0 0.12 so this is 0 0.12 and uh, 10 CFM per person and we use the same number of persons here also so again this CFM area of this lab into CFM per square feet will get CFM1 and number of persons in multiply by CFM per person will get CFM2 and total CFM for computer lab will be the sum of this CFM1 and CFM2 that is 273.96 274 CFM so let's calculate for classroom also so this is the education classroom for grade 6 students so let's go for classroom age 9 plus and the CFM per person is 10 and CFM per square feet for classroom is 0.12 so this again 0.12 and this one is uh, 10 CFM per person and number of person will take same or we can check from architecture so total CFM required for classroom is again 274 so if you need to calculate the total CFM for these three areas chemistry bio lab computer lab and the classroom it will be the sum of these three CFM that is calculated over here is the sum so this is how you can calculate the fresh air CFM for each and every room so in the same way you can find the CFM for other classrooms I hope you guys like this video, please keep watching my channel and don't forget to subscribe.